our hands on our belly and just nurturing ourselves and just acknowledging ourselves because we're all doing like big stuff right now. And then set whatever intention you got. And then step the feet apart. We're just going to do a really simple, just nice and simple. Yeah, just tapping the main man, tapping the hip bone. And looking over the shoulder. And then tapping the uh, long one, the shoulder's nest. reminder today how you know the brain and we do all this regeneration in, um, in deep sleep not even in dream sleep it has to be deep sleep okay two more swings great and then unwind it And then just right into the hips. And you can make some little wrist circles. So coming to the seat and we'll tap some key acupressure points. Okay, so kidney 27. Spleen 21. And 
sternum. And rolling the head. head the other way. Okay, we're going the second way, right? Okay. Hands on the shoulders and rotating the arms. Rotating the shoulders. And the other way. about with the back bends because we haven't done these shoulder stretches in a long time. Okay. So let's do the side bend and then let's grab our stretching device. I just remembered we were supposed to do pranayama. Yeah. <laughs> Other way. Bring it up. Okay, so get something to stretch with. So Kelly, for uh, Irvin down your ass and a prep, we want to do things like chair pose. And my favorite is a uh, wall hang it's called a uh, wall puppy. Uh-oh. What is that, socks? Kristen? <laughs> yeah, because she's something that was there. Absolutely. Yeah, like a, um, a shawl. Probably have a shawl. That's it. Wear them. That's right. <laughs> Up and over. There you go. So this will help. Yeah, so this kind of stuff, Kelly, uh, prayer pose, either on the chair, on the blocks, and uh, wall hang helps to open the chest. Let's take uh, the uh, left hand over. Yes, yeah, see how that armpit is really opening, opening, opening? You need that for back bends. Oof. Back bends, they're, they're a hard pose because you need to be super flexible. You need to be very open in your um, anterior spine, very strong in your back, and very flexible in your um, groins and your armpits. And strong, you need all of that. Whew. Okay. Um, Washer. Great. I like 
this one. Oh, good. Great. And then legs wide. This is my new kick. Uh, palms up and little cuts. Cut with a pinky. Starting to feel those obliques come online. thing and switch and let's just do it so we'll just take that arm across and look behind that shoulder so we won't take the head all the way to the floor yet it's a really pretty shape and you can feel that spiral in fact when you turn, try to look so far over your shoulder that you can see that back foot. That's the spiral. That was a good correction. Yeah, so we're not going to the floor yet. We're staying upright. Keep looking, keep looking, and just wag your back foot. See if you can see it, because that's when you know you're making the spiral with your spine. Find such an amazing thing it can turn in so many, has so many options. Okay, next time let's go ahead and take the forehead to the floor. Don't bonk it too hard, especially if you've got a hard floor. Last one of those. Great. And then let's do the hard one where we keep our arms up. And this is the one where you might <laughs> start to kind of do the, do the walk a little bit. You start, mig oh, yeah, you start yeah. migrating forward. Yeah, it's hard on the butt bones for sure. Whew, especially if you're on marble. Last one. Okay. Whew, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's enough of that. Let's lie down. Because we've got to do our um, our ankles. Okay, but first, before we get there, we're just going to simply hug the knees. Whew. Hug the knees and see if you can do it without rounding or hardening through the shoulders. Keep the shoulders and the chest open. But the lower back will get long. And then hands will go right on the knees and we begin, begin to spin here. We need to make some circles. This is how we just kind of start to rev our motors gradually and gently. to what's actually going on, you know? Because sometimes it helps you feel better. I mean, you don't have to do anything super. But if I work too hard, it would make me feel worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't want to work too hard. Okay, let's get that outside leg up and then let's start to rotate the ankle. 
But it's a weird thing that happens, kind of like once you start moving and your prana starts flowing, then it's just like, oh, well, I do kind of feel like doing it. I feel like doing this, and I feel like doing this, and it just starts to open. You can rock. Hug it in a little tighter. If it's starting to open, and then here we go. Other side, so inside leg goes straight up. Outside leg can be bent. And then big, juicy ankle circle. Cross the ankle over, press the knee away from the shoulder, figure four, flexing this top foot, the figure four foot, oh. Konasana, Supta Baddha Konasana, hands on the belly and integrate. Close the knees. Here we go. Hands come on the inside of the legs. They snake and wrap around the outside. We grab the outer foot and we go for our blissful baby. We're on a kick now with this, Kelly. What's that? We're on this kick now. Yeah. Yeah, this is, you know, this qualifies now as a trend. And we want to use part of the secret to kind of cultivating this is using your upper arm against your thigh. I mean, if you notice you've got contact there, you, you use that to push the thigh down. But if you just want to keep it loose and just rock, then that's fine too. But just know that that leverage is there if you want to make it deeper. 
Okay, and then we're going to switch the hands. Now grab the inner arch, straighten the legs, wide V. It's kind of upward facing Upavista. And then take it into the big rock. So take it over, open, and rock in the other side. So this is a really nice one to do when you know you need a nice low energy practice. And you're just going to roll around on the floor a little bit. Last one. And we are holding on in the navel. Great. Baddha Konasana. Okay, close the legs. Let the lower back press down, the navel press down, and little touches. We'll just do a few little abs here. This is just to kind of try to get all your little actions established, the hollowness of the belly and the trying to get that lower back down. Keeping the suction. And we take it into reverse bicycle. Nice and slow. Great. And then into a gentle scissor. So we haven't curled the upper body yet. We're still lying down. We're still using our core muscles to press that back down. And then now let's curl the upper body. Same thing, just plain old scissor, plain Jane. And then we'll add um, some pulsations. So we'll go pulse, two, three, and bring it up. One, two, three, and up. And pulse, two, three. Two more. Last one. Great. Legs straight up in the air. Lie down. Reestablish your navel. Reestablish your gully belly. And then foot goes to the shin. Alternating seahorse. We'll just do the easy ones tonight, okay? Okay. Yeah, well, we want to feel it, but we're not going to do all the really, the really super hard ones. But see, what happens is the more we practice these, then they start getting easier, and then they become warm-ups, actually, is what happens. Okay, so you are switching, right? I, I will get a brick. We will bring the bricks back. I'm just, I'm going to travel again, and I don't, I can't fit a brick. <laughs> I can't fit two bricks in my bag, so that's why I didn't bring them to begin with. But I do miss my bricks, absolutely. 
Two more. Last one. Like straight up. Right into reverse. No breaks. When we do the easy ones, we don't get breaks. So reverse crunch. So it's a peel and a tap. Ooh, I think I'm starting to get warm. Peel and tap. Okay, last one we're going to rest. Okay, just the swivel, just the side tap. So shift your hips to the side, tap the toes to the outer edge of the mat. You get a coffee break after this one. Digging up coffee, I love an espresso maker. Oh my God. A little stove top one. Sweet. I See, this is becoming a nothing burger. Two more. Last one. Last one means last set. Okay. Bada Konasana, the back turns into a banana. Ooh, let's put our hands behind the head. Just feel the flow. Through the belly, through the navel, through the back. Betty boob twist, take the leg across and keep that opposite elbow down really nicely. Open the chest, stretch the armpit. Other way. press up into a bridge pose okay so tonight just for fun I'm going to actually grab the front of my ankle so I'm going to start here now if this is for some reason difficult you don't have to it's just what I got drawn to do and then I'm going to tuck my tailbone and I'm just going to press up I'm going to walk my shoulders under and so my fingers are all the way wrapped around to the front that's hard, then don't worry about the fingers. You can grab the heels. This is just kind of an interesting way to tie it up. And then rolling down. Gosh, I just realized we haven't done bow pose in a long time. And roll. Thank you. 
Okay, Bharatanasana. Uh, one more belly boot before we transition. To some tables, table march. Actually, it's called it's a modified reverse plank, is what it's really called. Oh. Whew. Okay, so we're just going to roll up. And then just a few uh, dynamic tables, back and forth. Lift if you can. And then lower down, Dandasana, roll the wrists. Great, hands to the sides, pull in the feet, back to the table. This time we're going to extend that outside leg. Lifting the sacrum and lift, extend, pull it in, extend, lift, extend, pull, lift, pull, lift, pull. This is the last one. Pull it in, come to figure four, pull through. Sit down. Woo. Okay. Janu Shishasana. Inhale. And forward. And just if it feels tight because it's still early in class, it might be early in the morning for you, if it feels tight, just, just go to your edge and breathe. There's no need to try to make anything happen that's not already happening. We just go to our edge and breathe. up that felt good to me anyway crossing that in uh, outside arm to the outside we're just going to take this little kind of open twist here so I'm twisting toward my straight leg yeah away from my Konasana leg yep great Okay, other side, into table, extend the leg in nylon, inside leg, lift, touch, pull, lift, pull, lift, try to keep the sacrum high, Last one, lift, cross, pull through. Lower. The foot goes right to Janu Shishasana. Okay, outside hand, I'm sorry, inside hand, outside leg is extended, forward fold. Janu Shishasana, head to knee pose. And if you're nice and empty and you're feeling game, you can press the navel back to the spine.
spine on the exhalation. Base of the exhalation, you just squeeze it. That's the Udi, Udiyana. Amazing. Inhale, comes up. Feels so good. And then take the twist. So we're twisting towards. I'm going to have my inside hand. I'm going to grab the outside of my straight leg. And then I'm going to twist away. So this time I'm looking away from the camera. Upper dog, tuck the toes, lift, lift the knees, lift the chest, lift everything off the floor. Straighten your knees if you can. Dog, Aramuka, Svanasana. Tread. deviations from 
the dog posts, actually. How's it going? Okay, two more. I used to do this every day, and I must say that I'm a bit better at it than I used to be. Probably because I practiced. Okay, let's come on down. Chow pose. And I'm rolling my wrist because we're getting ready for the um, what's possibly going to be the crescendo of the class. Okay, I think we've done it before. Kelly, you need to roll your wrist or no? Oh, yeah, I was doing that a little. Okay, so this is kind of a um. I'm going to call it Tail of the Scorpion Dog Variation. Okay, so I, I think you guys should watch uh, before we do it. So I'm going to lift up my leg into Ekapata, and I'm, but I'm going to bend that knee right away. I'm going to lift my head. I'm going to pretend like I'm going to touch my head. I probably won't. And then I'm going to pull it in to the opposite elbow. And I'm going to go back and forth. We've done this before, right? Something like it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of variations that they have that work on this theme. Actually, we can start with bringing the knee to the, uh, to the opposite elbow. So we're not switching sides. We're all on one side. And you can join in whenever you're ready, if you haven't already. Whew, so it's nice and smooth, and it does work a lot of different things have to work here. So you take that tail of the scorpion, you see, you, if you look over your shoulder, you should be able to see your foot, and then bring it in. Okay, how's it going? Okay, next one, we're going to swoop the knee forward. We're not going to do pigeon. We're just going to swoop it forward, just a bent knee. And the back leg is straight with the toe tucked. Lift the chest. Yep. How are you doing, Kristen? Is it okay? Okay, well this is the hardest one of the class, and then we're going to um, start to wind it down. Can you do the other side? We'll do the other side. Yeah, we're going to do the other side right now. So this side, actually, I'm going to start with crossing to the elbow. So cross. And open and cross and open cross open lift the head Great, feels 
good. Okay, let's come back. Let's sit in Thai Angel. Um, Kristen has to go, so we can just, she can end here. Um, yeah. Kelly and I have got five minutes. We can just do a few cool downs. So, yeah, no, I mean, I'll come back. I'll just. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just keep going then. Okay, Kelly, let's roll the wrists. And then we'll cool down with some qigong. Okay. So all I want to do is let's come down to our forearms, forearm plank. Kristen's lucky she's getting to miss this. And let's do some rainbows. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do um, one side. I'm going to do like three or four on one side, and then I'm going to switch. So I'm on my second leg now. Oh. Second round, first leg again. I'm gonna just do like three or four. Oh, thank God it started to rain again. Last side. Woo, this gets everything. Oh my God. Come straight down to the belly, Kelly. Kelly belly. Woo! Okay, let's just lie with our forehead on the hands.
now just nice clockwise circles on the belly. Really nice and soothing. Last one. And then pause with the hands on the navel, inhaling. And exhale, namaste.